2021 F-150 XLT 302 Atom package. Let's check it out. First video, got a F-150 here, XLT 302 Atom package with the FX4 off-road package as well. Um, yeah, first time Ford owner here, I've um, always been interested in them. Uh, was always kind of questionable uh, on the reliability, but so far it's been great. Bought it with uh, 3,000 miles on it, it was a loaner through the dealer, uh, but now it has about 7,500. It's been great so far, it's got the 3.5 liter twin turbo V6. Let's check it out. All right, this does have the 20 inch rims. Uh, they actually look very nice on here with the Scorpion uh, ATR from Pirelli. Pretty decent tires. Um, driven through a few snowstorms here in uh, Colorado. I've done all right. Um, definitely got to use four wheel drive though when you're going up some uh, inclines and whatnot. Yeah, it's a pretty nice looking truck. Um, it's got the running boards. Um, yep, it is the FX4 off-road. Um, I did upgrade to a soft top Tona cover. Uh, pretty nice. It is a Tiger. It was about 250 off Amazon. Uh, let's check out the interior here. Did come with the uh, weather mats. And it does have the uh, quite large infotainment system here. Which has been really nice dual climate controls uh it's got the pro trailer <clears throat> um, assist it's got the brake controller with the tow package it doesn't have the uh full um, digital dash which i actually kind of like having the um the analog on the side here and the digital in the middle um yeah <clears throat> it's been a great truck <clears throat> cloth seats which i actually like um no sunroof, moonroof, whatever it's called. Um, <clears throat> the only complaint I've had, I actually had to fix, was uh, when I first got this thing, the um, this did not want to stay up. It would just flop right down. And it was a problem with the um, the spring tension holding it up. I don't know if you can see in there, but I actually had to put. Um, Called the nickel fix and I actually had to put in a couple nickels behind the tensioners um, which was a really easy fix kind of funny that you have to do that on a brand new you know sixty thousand dollar truck but yeah now it stays up just fine as you can tell yeah yeah really love the interior it's really comfy let's check out the back got the car seat in here yeah it's quite roomy um no complaints here. Um, that was my one complaint with the uh, Tacoma I had was the uh, the rear seats were just just terrible for space. Yeah, I got the Tona cover here. Uh, another upgrade I did do when I first got it was I put on this short uh, antenna because the antenna kept hitting on the uh, top of my garage door, which. I guess people say it's 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 designed like that because if you're going in, say a parking garage or something, it, it sits two inches, you know, above your truck, and so it's to help, you know, tell you, hey, you're going through something that's going to possibly damage the top of your truck. So um, I don't really worry about that too much. I was just tired of it hitting on my garage. So yeah, I got that off Amazon, twenty bucks. Uh, been great. Uh, but yeah, really loving it. Um, no issues so far. Definitely got a few upgrades that um, I'm planning on. Um, I definitely want to get the the rear wheel liners in there um, just to keep it cleaner and it'll look a little better aesthetically. Um, but yeah, everything's been great. Um, I run premium through it. Uh, yeah, great truck. Really loving it so far, my first Ford ever. Um, next upgrade I got is the JLT performance catch can, uh, oil catch can. So that's going to be uh, coming up in a video here soon. And we'll uh, definitely make a video on that. But yeah, uh, definitely uh, look forward to making more videos with this truck. Um, it's nice to have a uh, kind of platform to discuss it. 
some F-150 news, accessories, reviews, things like that. So, all right, stay tuned, guys.